hello everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you how to edit photo that means the uh, close portrait like this and this one i downloaded from the wallpaper.com and i'll give you that downloading in my video description so today i'm gonna giving you uh, a portrait effect uh, another portrait effect from the camera filters settings you can tell this okay at first press ctrl j for the new copy of this layer and after that go to the filter and camera filter before that i want to do one thing uh, increase the eye color so how to do that take a new blank layer and make it the white color and take the brush like this and decrease the brush size okay make the brush size in uh, according to the pupil and the cornea actually so here that's good and select once before that check out the opacity and flow is 100% select once and once here after that blending mode make it screen or uh, you can over over a little bit nice so if you need you can decrease the opacity so select these two things make it march after that go to the filter and the camera filter from camera filter i'll add effects and correction the color and increase or enhance other things i'll do here so at first the panels the basic panels and the curves and then the delta uh, detailing detailing that means uh, the sharpening noise reducer that's it and the hsl or grayscale options and then the split toning then lens correction effects camera calibration so at first the basic one uh, exposure i'll down a little bit and contrast increase that and highlight i'll decrease the highlight a little bit and increase the white a little bit and blacks a little bit down and the clarity a little bit up not more than uh, four or five the variance that's good five and saturation five and the temperature if you want to make it cool color then take in a blue portion if you want to make it in a warm color please take it yellowish portion so i'll take plus three and minus five so that's good and then the tone curvy that means the here is the curves and at first i'll work with the blue color tone select once here and make it like that and the green here just yeah make it like that little bit and then the red red color i'll make red color like that and the rgb color select here down the light like that select here yeah and here the add some drama like that okay after that the amount of sharpening increase the detail and luminance of noise reducer increase so in the face too much orange color so saturation i'll reduce the orange color and luminance i'll increase yeah now this one is neutralized and red color i'll decrease the red luminance increase the saturation of red as well so the dress color is blue i'll work with the blue colors here is the blue color aqua i'm increasing the saturation the luminance i'll make it down like that and the camera calibration so camera calibration is like this and this color so that's good and from the hsl the green color as well saturation of green color uh, you can make it like that hue i'll take the hue like that yeah it will help me out to make it more artistic so that's good yeah so that's good uh, i think yeah that's good no green like that so split toning if you need you can add the split toning like that highlight and shadow 
highlight uh, here is the highlight like this if you increase like that yeah and the shadow will be if you increase that you can get that tone so I think this one is good tone yeah and other things the aqua and other things here the red color the orange color so luminance of red and orange that's our most important thing aqua you can decrease okay let's see the before one and after one before one like ordinary color in if you want artistic color you can use these preset so i'll give you that preset so i'm saving this preset to save the settings and give the name the girl to so and hit the ok button let's see the before and after so after that make copy by pressing ctrl j and then go to the filter and the nick collection and the color effects pro 4 and now another time for adding the actually the effects here i am using the cross processing here lots of presets but i will use the cross processing and lots of method and i will give the method like this and lots of another methods you can try that out so here here uh, and that's good I think that's good and hit the ok button so it will take time to give you the output yeah that's good the before one and after one and then I'll go to the level options and work with work with the level like that so yeah that's good cool. and then go to the curves options uh, from the curves option just select here and add some grammar like that yeah let's see the before one and after one I just combined um, uh, lots of things uh, that means the three things at first the com camera filter and then the cross process from the Google Nick collection and then the levels and then the curves your just uh, your photo is like perfect look so uh, in this portion uh, if you want to add extra light suppose you know, the light source is in a back side so if you want to make the light source more prominent you can do one thing you can take a new blank layer like that and the white color in case of instead of white color i'll take the yellowish color like that so that's good and hit ok and then go to the brush take the first one brush and make the pixel like 100 around 100 pixel and select once make it bigger yeah make it bigger like this so hit the T button and the blending mode screen and so you can make the light source like this so here and make copy and use here so two things one and two if you need you can use that so after that go to the adjustment and the gradient option and you can use that gradient for this portion or make it radial make it the white one and the increase the flow and zero degree and the third you can adjust this so i want to fit with here i will make the scale up like this and hit ok so yeah that's good let's see the before one and after one you're getting the artistic way of editing so if you want you can turn it off or you can turn on one side or two side you can do that so I'll suggest you to turn it on 
uh, it will make more exposure or more feelings from the backlight of the sun so uh, this one is today's tutorial and if you want to get the all resource file please check out my video description thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i may see my signing out today and bye bye